Good evening, my name is Tasha Main, and tonight I'm going to be doing a portion of an introductory health and fitness course that I will hopefully be teaching in the near future. As up to this point in the course, we would have already covered the systems of the body, the benefits of exercise, and the components of an exercise program. Tonight we're going to take all of those parts and we're going to put them together into what's called the fitness principle or another way of putting them together so that you can prescribe an exercise program either for yourself or for somebody that you might be working with. So to round that out for another definition, it's basically um, a formula that you can use to help you with the different components that you're going to need. So starting off with the first part, the first part of the principle, which is F, which is, is going to be frequency. And frequency is how many times per week you want to exercise. Generally, and according to um, the American College of Sports Medicine, also the Healthy People 2008, you want to exercise at least three to five times a week. So that's what we want to aim for. The next component is going to be intensity. And intensity refers to how hard you're working. Now there are two different ways that I'm going to focus on to measure the intensity. And one of them is simply by monitoring your body and seeing how you feel. So if you're working very lightly, you won't be sweating, you can talk without any problem, it's nice and easy to do. It could be um, washing dishes or um, maybe gardening, nothing too strenuous. Then there's moderate, which you might be slightly sweating, you might notice that your heart rate's up a little bit, um, and you can talk but you can't sing, so you can hold a conversation. It's also known as the talk test. And then finally, vigorous. And vigorous is going to be when you're working really hard. So you're sweating, you know your heart rate's up, and you can't talk. So that would be an all-out run or maybe biking, any type of um, exercise that's going to use a lot of muscle groups. So the other way to do intensity, so you can monitor your body, or you can also look at your heart rate, So, which is obviously more complicated because you have to know how to take your heart rate and figure out what you want your heart rate to be. So there's a formula that you can use that you can figure out your maximum heart rate, which is 220 minus your age, and then you multiply that by the percentage that you're looking for. Most, most of the um, recommendations are for 55 to 85% of your maximum heart rate. So as an example, what we would do, so say we have a 50-year-old person. So you would take, it's 220 minus your age, so in this case it would be 50, which gives us 170. That would be your maximum heart rate, so you don't ever want to go above that. And then if you want to figure out what your percentage is, you take that number, the maximum, the 170, and you multiply it by your percentages. So you have your 55%, which is going to be your lo the lower end of your heart rate, and then you have the upper end, which is going to be about 85%. Those numbers can vary slightly. You might see 65 to 90%. You could see 50 to 80%. It really depends on the person and who you're talking to. So in this case, 170 times 55% is going to be 94. Oops. And that, so that would be the lower end of your heart rate. The upper end is going to be 145. So that's one way you can monitor your exercise intensity. And what we'll do when we're done going through all of this is we're actually going to do some, some of these equations together so that everybody gets an, uh, an understanding of how that works. Yes, Sherry. Are you going to talk about well, the problems if you go over that maximum? Sure. There's um, generally you want to stay within that air, that range, um, um, and it's not too much of an issue if you go over it or under it. It's really going to be based more on your fitness level. So, but that's an excellent question, and we can certainly talk about that um, at, when we're going through the problems themselves. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. So next we have time. And time is how long you're going to exercise for. Generally, um, according to, again, the Healthy People 2008 and also ACSM, which follows their guidelines, most people want to try to get at least 150 minutes of exercise a week. And that breaks down to about five 30-minute sessions. All right, so that's what we want to be shooting for. However, if you've got a beginner exerciser, um, like three sessions of 20 to 30 minutes is just fine because you want to work them up gradually. You don't want to just have them jump right in. All right, now the type, 
and this is the kind of exercise that you're going to be doing. So in our, for our purposes, we're, we can be talking about aerobic exercise or fitness. You can be talking about strength training. You can be talking about flexibility, um, many different types of exercise. But what I want to do now is, can somebody give me an example, one or two examples maybe of a type of exercise that you might want to be doing? My favorite is the elliptical. Elliptical, wonderful. My favorite currently is rowing. So I get to get out on the water. That's early in the morning. Um, but also some of the other ones, the, one of the, my favorites, because it's simple, you don't have to have any equipment, and um, you can do it anytime, anywhere, is walking. Um, almost everybody can do it with relatively little difficulty. Um, and, and again, you don't have to have a gym membership. Um, it doesn't matter necessarily about the weather. You can walk right in front of your television if, if you don't have any other options. Um, we also have, there's biking, swimming, dancing, group exercise. A lot of people love going to the gym and having that group atmosphere. Um, and like I already mentioned, strength training and flexibility as well. Finally, and this you're not gonna see a lot, but this is one that I added in um, because it's important, is enjoyment, okay? It's very important that you enjoy the exercise that you're doing because if you don't enjoy it, you're not going to do it. Um, when I was working in cardiac rehab, I used to have people say, tell me all the time, well, I'm gonna go out and buy an exercise bike, but I really hate the bike. And I'm like, well, then why are you gonna buy an exercise bike? <laughs> so find something that you enjoy and, and try that or do that because that you're definitely going to be more motivated to stay with it if you do that. All right, so all of these um, are also um, put into another type, not another type, um, we have, again, from Healthy People 2000, they have, we all, we're all familiar with the food pyramid, okay? Well, now there's the activity pyramid. So you take all of these different components and how often and, and putting them all together, and it's shown on a pyramid, and it can give you, again, those components of what you're, what you're looking for. So 